Hey guys, it's Steph. If you're catching the replay, please comment replay. Um, that'll just get it out to more people and make it more uh, noticeable. Um, so I am Steph. I am a physical therapist. I am also an online run coach. And I started this group because I figured out that I really wanted to help, especially beginner runners, um, learn the, all the tips and tricks so that they weren't getting injured and I wasn't having to see them in the clinic because a lot of running injuries are preventable. Today is about breathing. And in physical therapy school, we learn about breathing and how to teach people how to breathe and how to use their diaphragm muscle and avoid using accessory muscles up here to breathe. But now seeing all of the issues that um, especially beginner runners have with breathing and they're struggling with completing their runs because they can't breathe. I was like, okay, there's something here. So I, I did a little bit of research and I found that, yeah, it's, it's a very common problem, um, especially when you are beginning. And one of the reasons is because your body is not used to working in that way. So just like we need to get your running muscles, so your leg muscles, your trunk muscles, conditioned and ready to run, um, we also have to work on the breathing muscles. And it's an area that, you know, when you when you start to run, it triggers a, like that fight or flight response um, in you. And so that heightens your, you know, anxiety and your body's response. And even though you're doing it for exercise, you need to kind of remind your body that you're doing it for exercise and it's okay. So you have to kind of overcome that mental um, and physical battle that your body is going through, trying to, you know, get ready to flight. Um, and so you need to learn to calm your breathing down and control it when you're running and get those muscles engaged, um, the right muscles engaged and working for you when you are running. So the challenge for today and what I'm gonna show you is how to do belly breathing. Um, or diaphragmatic breathing. So our diaphragm sits here and that is the big breathing muscle that we want working for us. When we get anxious or short of breath, we start to breathe with accessory muscles so up through here and that um, makes it harder to breathe obviously and it can cause other issues. So practicing belly breathing can help to calm your system but also help to strengthen those muscles. So you can do it uh, often, if you're really having trouble, suggest lay down and then get in a comfortable position and work on it. I'm just gonna do it sitting here. But then you work into a progression. So you work on it sitting, standing, walking, and then a little bit with running. But really at that point, you should be good to go if you're able to do that. So all you're gonna do is put a hand on your belly, just right below your kind of rib cage and a hand on your chest. And all you're gonna do is fill up your lungs and your belly should fill up first. So this hand should move first and then this hand's gonna move just a little bit. And you're gonna, I usually recommend setting a timer for just like one minute because you don't wanna over, overwhelm yourself with this stuff either. Um, and it doesn't have to take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna show you, I'll stop talking while I do it so I can breathe. So I'm gonna fill up here. and then try and push it all the way out. So fill up here. And then push it all the way out. So really filling up here first, and then this will rise a little, and then pushing and making sure all of the air is going back out too. So again, that's helping to strengthen the diaphragm muscle. So the challenge is for you to set a timer for one minute, find a comfortable position, whether you're laying down, whether you're sitting comfortably, upright posture, and I want you to work on the diaphragm breathing, belly breathing for one minute. So wait, just keep going smooth and steady until your timer goes off and comment done below and we'll know you did it. Yeah. 